Why do I not read chat? I read chat sometimes. Most of the time when I read it, it's after the game. Sometimes I tab in the middle of the game to change the song or something. But I uh, I don't really look at it more than a second, I guess. I don't like two monitors. I just, I don't like the fact that there's some shit on the other, like to the right of my eye, I can see like a little bit. I don't like it. I like to just have one thing in the center and just focus, focus on that. Also, my table's too small. I don't have room for a second monitor, I think. I would have to buy a new table and I'm certainly not doing that shit. What's something supports can start doing to make your lane better? Well, you can buy a salve, because the supports buy salves. Like, uh, their position four that you lane against always has a salve, so you should match it. Like, the game I played, the drug game, my wyvern didn't have a salve. He had a Sobi mask for some reason. So he kind of fucked my lane a little bit. Arteezy, show us your ass, man! Uh, I can't do that. Sorry. That's what I imagine the guy who typed that is like with that kind of passion. He bought the mask so you can spam healing word? What does that have to do with the mask? <laughs> you mean he didn't have a bassy? Soapy mask is like a selfish item, man. Donations are turned off because I I don't like the idea of donations that much. And I when I stream I wanna try to focus on the game. I find that when I have donations playing in the back, it takes away my focus. I'd rather just uh, try to play as good as I can, and then subs are kind of low-key. They're not that, like, rapid. People don't sub that much, so it's pretty good. You gotta be it. I mean, to be honest, anytime you talk about, like, if you say sub in a sentence, it's some some dude is gonna write jibated, like, no matter what. Even it. Like, I don't even know what you can say a sentence with sub in it that someone wouldn't think it's a debate. All it takes is one dude to write it anyway. Once one guy writes it, it just starts a chain. <laughs> thanks for subbing, guys. See what I mean? Like, I'm saying thanks for subbing and I'm sure someone will sub. <laughs> what other games do I play besides Dota 2? Wait, hold up. The queue's getting a bit too long. I'm gonna restart it. I don't like the seven up. minute queue. Other games besides Dota, let me think. I enjoyed Assassin's Creed a lot. I remember when Origins and Odyssey came out, I played it pretty hardcore. I like those Turn kinds up. of games. I this don't know. I'm pretty lame. I think I'm gonna play Kingdom of Amalur, if that's how you pronounce it. I tried to play Dark Souls, um, but my controller kept disconnecting. Like, I got so tilted. I don't know why. And then after that, I just gave up. It wasn't meant to be after that. Personally, I'm not sure. Like, my, uh, my opinion on variety streaming is like most of the people that watch me watch for dota in my opinion i don't I, I can't speak for everybody but that's my impression so if i was to stream some dark souls people would be disappointed so jesus christ dude, calm down guys not the wrong in all caps don't don't yell at me please i used to i streamed for honor i remember and i think i streamed overwatch a little bit i can't remember for Honor was a very fun game. I really enjoyed that game until it got like there. There was too many updates, too many hero changes, and it was just I couldn't keep up Turn with up. it, man. It this just, guy is crazy. I actually I think I got pretty good at uh, Overwatch, and then Genji got nerfed, and then I had to learn Tracer, which took some time. But I thought I had a pretty good Tracer, but then I think Tracer got nerfed or tweaked or something, and I lost interest. Yeah, sorry, PSG throwing your game buddy I uh I played pretty bad <laughs> what can I say shit happens my favorite hero after TI9 has always been Void I don't know what happened I just really like Void now before TI9 like I really hated the hero like I had some burning passion of hatred but now I it's my favorite hero it was pretty garbage for a while and I just wanted to try this random ass build why do I like Void Spirit man not the Void Spirit the faceless one what made me switch from mid to carry? I, from memory, I think I was in a phase where I really didn't like the direction of mid or something like that. I think a lot of mid players go through this, like where they feel the progression of mid and the, the evolution over time kind of goes against what you got really good at about mid. Let's say like trading regen or like whatever. And then they introduce some like new salve or I don't know different tower positioning and then you just feel like you can't do something that you used to do then you just get kind of demotivated but eventually you got you get over it and then you get better again that's the whole evolution of dota 
but I didn't I didn't like it. I just rather play carry at that point. I don't really like mid on the set. I feel every time I go mid, I always do well or win my lane, but I can't kill side lanes or some shit. It just doesn't feel fun. Probably because I actually don't know how to snowball or like how to uh, do it. In a pub, it's pretty fucking easy because people play like idiots, but in real games, you actually have to pretty high game knowledge. I'm missing my gold for my fairy fire, dude. Fuck it, I can't. What the fuck? Off to a great start. What? We're gonna take it. Fucking ultra late game, that's all I know. Conker doesn't. I mean, this is an example. He doesn't really know what to do. He just sits mid and waits to die, kind of thing. gonna be some stupid ass like 40 minute game I think we gotta kill him before Legion presses one button guys okay he's gonna press it here ah, nice we lost dude I don't get it man oh the fuck does mag PA beat Bounty Fury on man, this game is fucked up because they're supposed to lose lanes, but they're winning lanes. I have to hope that they fuck up. Thing is, I can literally just die. If I'm on a ward, Storm goes on me. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's fine. I have so many fucking items to win this game. So many fucking items. Dude, they, he's on a ward, guys. Come on. Your bottom tower has fallen. All strife. Oh my god, he's suiciding, dude. Respect. Storm one hit. 300 mana. I'll get him. Just kill this Magnus, Magnus. I'm dead actually. That was a bad idea, dude. Bad idea. That was so good. Real sad looking score. Dude, they have both, they have everything. I don't know, this game is um, pretty unwinnable. I've never been so anti carried in my life, dude. End the game, please. Thanks, bro. Fake rampage, man. Fake rampage. I think I'm gonna go pee and then I'm gonna play East. There's no way I'm playing these games again, dude. It's actually like I didn't have a only really fury on was playing. Boys, 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 I come back and I just see spam? Come on. It's better. We're better than this. We're productive, good spammers, man. Fuck, uh, is it a good idea to queue? Europe? I'll give it like five minutes of Europe queue. Maybe like seven minutes, but this last game was actually terrible. 
speech? What kind of speech? What do you guys need? I'm just chilling, man. I really had no hope of winning that game when I saw our picks. Oh my god, Tobey Maguire streaming again. Thanks a lot, bro. I've watched all parts of Spider-Man. Thank you for this. I'm gonna rewatch the movies after the stream. Rank 1 speech? Okay, guys, I'll give you like a TLDR speech of rank 1. On July 21st, 2020, I've accomplished my lifetime goal of rank 1. On July 22nd, I will lose rank 1. Or actually, I might lose today. Uh, July 21st, I might lose rank 1. But guys, rank 1 or rank 2, I'm still the same Arteezy. I'm still the same boy. Nothing changed. We're still here, sitting here uh, playing Dota. We're still just chatting up, spreading out um, positivity. Nothing changed, boys. We're all still here in this wonderful community. Holy shit, that was not bad. That's an okay queue. We're still getting boosted to rank 1. I don't have a camera. What the hell? Oh my god, the hype train's complete? I don't actually- I, I didn't see it, did it? Oh, no, level level 3. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Turn up! This guy is crazy as fuck. He's gotta be on Molly or some, uh, some powder or something. <laughs> Canceling. Is there an invis here on me? Oh, sorry, sorry. Kill OD. Oh my god, dude. He just kicked me. That was the most game losing kick I've ever seen, dude. I would have actually lived, I'm pretty sure. You can fight after if they go. Guys, no one cares about tier 2s anymore because they're so used to it not mattering, but now it matters. Oh my god.
Go jump OD in base, guys. Bounties, get all bounties. OD, OD, if you see OD, go. It's fine, I'm doomed. Yeah, that undying owned, I gotta say. That was like the best five I've had today. Impressive performance. <laughs> Thanks for subbing. I think PA and pubs with Magnus is like... 90% win rate. It's so foolproof. You can lose your lane, but people are gonna be like uncoordinated and die randomly. And then when you die once, you get a Roche and then you just run at them. It's too easy. Why well, wasn't it a BKB game? Because I think... Um, pretty much when you play PA, you're gonna get Roche. Of course, I didn't get Roche, but I should have gotten Roche. And then I don't really need a BQV. I mean, in a one-to-one -one theory, like, brawl, you know, like Custom Hero Arena, if you're playing PA against OD, you buy BKB and OD doesn't do anything, right? He has to, like, astral himself. But it's not like that, really. In, like, a t actual team fight in Dota. In the most... In, if you play well, you won't need to, like go in and man fight the OD. You'll go in after he gets like, silenced or something. And then if he has a BKB, he can't ask for himself if he gets bashed. So it's, like, it's a pretty hard matchup, I think. Naga Siren. Do I get to try a cool build this game? I think I do. Okay, let's do it. Shit, dude, I spilled coffee. Why is he tr <laughs> why is he trading against Enchantress? Oh my god, dude. I knew it! Mental damage, guys. Dota's about mental damage. He's trying to juke me, huh? You can't juke me. Let's kill him and get the tower. Oh shit, they're actually mad, dude. They're fucking mad. This guy is way too mad. Turn up! This guy is crazy as fuck. He's gotta be on Molly or some, uh, some powder or something. <laughs> Turn up! This guy will be. You wanna buy a smoke? What the fuck's going on? I'm coming. They're fucking dead. Fuck it, fuck it. What are they doing, actually? Doom is on a kill streak, dude. What happened? Oh boy. Damn. I got outplayed or what? Oh, I feel so bad for this Ench dude, he has to play support for fucking TA Axe Void. It was a true position like 10. Guys, heroes are kind of shit. I think you need to find a place to farm your blink safe without dying. Oh my god, dude. 10th pick T, guys! <laughs> Love it. It's good shit.
I'm dead. This guy griefed the game so hard, dude. This is the first time I didn't 10th pick. And this is what happens, guys. Remember what the promise I made the other fucking day? Like, literally, was it three, four days ago? I said, I'm never letting someone else last pick. And then, as soon as I let someone last pick, he fucking griefs the game. Holy shit, man. Oh, nice, dude. I don't know, like, we actually have no place at all. Like, I don't know what to do with our heroes, man. Uh, I guess wait my eggs, see what happens, I don't know. Wait for his MKB too? Oh, fucking no, dude. Okay, we have our timing, guys. This is it. Let's just fucking go, dude. Fuck this shit. Alright, we lost. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's fight this uh, 24 minute Butterfly Scotty versus a Blink MKB. Let's go. Let's do it. Nice. Got it good. Okay, guys. I have buyback. I'll just bait some shit. I'm dead. Big buyback though. Wait, why am I here? Darn it, man. <laughs> 1.2k net worth? More? I actually have just, I'm upset because this happens so much that I don't understand how at this point it keeps happening. I don't understand why anybody would look at this and be like, okay guys, it looks like a great TA game. I'm gonna go pick TA. We're gonna fucking shit on them at 37 minutes. It just ruins the game. It actually just ruins the game. Like, if you see Murana Jakiro and you're a mid player who is actually good, You'll be like, alright guys, I'll just pick Ember. You pick Ember, the game is over. It's actually just one. Instead, we get some physical DPS. Shit's fucking hero. Takes like 25 minutes to do anything. Yeah, I'm mauled. This time I am actually mauled. Later, boys. Epic, epic, let's go, come back. Okay, never mind, not come back. I'm gonna die again. In like 20 seconds, they're gonna see this dot on the map right now, and they're gonna just run at me. Outpost TP? Yep, there it is. <laughs> Dude, I'm just dying to random dots on the ground, man. Any buybacks, guys? We can win this fight. <laughs> oh, man. That would have been level 17 Void there. Do I want to play another year of games? The question. Don't worry, guys. I think I lose rank 1 next game if I lose. Does an 109 ping give you a significant disadvantage with harder opponents? Well, it's not so bad. It's not good, but it's not so bad. I think you can get used to it and play pretty good. I'm not sure I'm used to it yet. It's not so bad. I think mid is the hardest role though, on Turn ping, up. for sure. Carry is like... Hmm, I think carry is a little bit more like... 
kind of understanding slash knowledge, like the laning phase, and then like mid game, the spells you have to use aren't really that hard to use. It's more about like understanding when to use them, and that is not really ping related. I mean, there's like little shit you can't really do, like man to dodge and stuff. What happened? May I ask you a very serious question about what happened that game? That game particularly, we literally had um, three core heroes that get countered by Naga because TA is a pretty shitty hero. If she wins her lane, I win my lane, we still can't even do anything. Because we actually can't fight. We have no good heroes to fight. We have Enchantress, we have uh, TA, Axe, and we just have Void Phoenix, who's countered by Naga, so... It's too hard to play. Like this this TA, he, what's gonna happen is he's gonna go into the fight. Tiny's probably gonna jump him, just take off his shit, and then run away. And then some Jakiro drops his spells on the ground, and then he dies. Way too hard to play. Plus my axe kept feeding, I don't know what he was doing, but he didn't have a blink. Like he had 1.6k gold at 14 minutes, and then he had 2.2k gold at 21 minutes. I don't know what he was doing actually. No, no, no. Oh yes. No, 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 no. Oh my god. My creeps, dude. Yo, Phoenix, can you come here? I'll bash him. 